blizzard conditions south of the metro, but does that does not mean that the metro is immune from some problems. We are seeing several people slipping off various roads around the metro this morning. This is a live look at 94 and Cedar Avenue 77 moving along. OK for now, but again, we have seen a handful of problems out there, so be careful and take your time as you head out on the roads. It's still been tough this morning. Yes. Our winter storm coverage continues with a closer look at the streets right now. Yeah, blizzard conditions are shutting down roads again in southern Minnesota. Hannah Flood is on her way back closer to the metro and joins us live from Shakopee. How are things looking like uh, there? I like the glasses. Uh, That's a good sign that we have some sunshine now. Future so bright, you got to wear shades. That's right. Good morning, Tom and Leah. Yeah, I'm not just wearing these sunglasses because they make me look super cool. I'm wearing them because I think it's important. You heard Cody talking about the sun. And even with that filter, I've definitely noticed what he's talking about, how these little snow particles kind of create a filter over the sun. It's definitely not cloudy out here. I don't see a single cloud out here. Uh, but there is that little filter over the sun. It's interesting. But the sun does make things pretty bright. So since it's come up this morning, we've thrown the shades on. I highly advise you to, if you're heading out today, make sure that you have them because we all know when it hits that bright snow, it can be really jarring and it can make it already a little bit challenging drive even harder. I want to show you what we're seeing right now. You can see here in the metro, roads are not so bad. It's one of those things, though, they're good until you hit that patch where it's flat on both sides and that wind angle is just right and you get that blowing across uh, across the roadway. I want to show you uh, a picture, uh, the map here of the MnDOT map of the road conditions and it kind of shows you where things are the worst where those closures are happening we're talking about uh i-90 along the iowa border that being closed and highway 60 as well we were down near the henderson area so uh, kind of close down to i-90 there and you can see that snow blowing across you can talk about i like that term that Cody used, those finger drifts. When the snow's drifting and it creates those piles on the shoulder that then make their way into the road, we, we hit a couple of them at a, at a good speed, being careful, um, but I can certainly see how that would, could create a spin out, a problem, maybe even get stuck in them. I want to show you a few of our cameras to give you a look at what the roads look like right now. This is an image that we're going to show you on I-90 near Worthington. Again, that is an area with the they're really advising not to travel down there. A lot of those roadways have been closed. But if you think this is just a southwest, southern Minnesota problem, think again. This next image I want to show you is Highway 212 in Montevideo. So not too far outside the metro, they're seeing those big snow drifts. And if you come back to us here in the Shakopee, Chaska-ish area, um, you can see some of those drifts coming across the road right now. So like Cody said, this is what it looks like right now. These conditions could really change throughout the day and throughout the evening. So I encourage you to, to get the Fox Sign, whether I have to look at that 511 map uh, to see where you're going, what conditions look like. Because I think you can tell from the video and the images I showed as well that it really varies from place to place. But we are seeing some of that drifting here in the metro. Also very cold out there. Don't be deceived by that sun. It is cold out here, so make sure you're wearing those extra layers. Throw some extra layers in the car just in case you do end up in a sticky situation. Tom and Leah. And who's behind those foster grants? Anna Flood. Thank you, <laughs> Anna. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you.